Oh, that's pretty. You see it? No, you don't. I think they're pretty for like vacation. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Monet, and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Y'all, I'm super excited because Timu reached out to me to partner up to share some of their items with you guys. I'm also going to list the products as well for you. You can get a coupon for $100 off. It is DKW4547, so you're gonna wanna enter that on the app, and that is going to get your savings. That's gonna be for all users. You don't, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with this package right here, y'all. This is gonna be so random, but let's go ahead and start with the jewelry pieces that I got. I got these earrings right here. I just wanted to try their jewelry out. So I ended up picking up these earrings right here, which I thought were really cute. They look like this. Oh, they are really, really cute, actually. But I just wanted to stick them in to show you guys how they look. I think they're so pretty. I think they're pretty for like vacation. Y'all, these are really, really cute. Get up close so that way you guys can see. So I ended up getting these, which were Bottega dupes. I actually just wanted to try them out. Now these are very, very, very lightweight. And they're a lot more gold than what I would like, but I do feel like if you wear them, especially like with your hair and your oils being on it, I that's what they look like. We're starting out pretty good. So yeah, it's a little more yellow than I would like, but I ended up also getting this glasses case right here. I think this is perfect for adding my glasses, especially for someone who is traveling. Definitely will be adding this to my suitcase when I travel. And I love the fact that this saves so much space, you know, and you're able to just lock them in. Um, let me see, this is a five or a six. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, this will fit perfectly in my suitcase and it comes, I mean, if you want to hold it like this, you could, but I mean, honestly, this will be like a little cute purse. But yeah, I love this. For all my people who are looking for something to travel or you just need and you don't have a lot of frames, this is for you. Now, if you have a lot of frames, I suggest like getting something else added too, but summer's coming up, trips are coming up and that is perfect. So I'm excited about that. So I ended up getting a bracelet. Now this to me is very much so yellow. It's definitely giving Miami yellow to me. So this is what it looks like. It depends on what I was wearing. If I was wearing something that was like really yellow, I wouldn't mind if I had like a few of these, I would have to kind of play around with right. it. So I ended up getting some stuff for jewelry. I ended up finding these. So these are jewelry organizers. So if you watch my vlogs and stuff like that, you are gonna see, I'm going to try to like clean out a drawer and just like put all my jewelry because I really want to work on like seeing everything that I have so that way when I'm planning you know my outfits and stuff like that I'm able to do so. I just feel like velvet organizers just give you like that expensive look. I actually want to get a few more. We also have this one which you can put like maybe like your watches you know, some larger pieces of jewelry, some bricks. I like that. I ended up getting some oil jars. The ones that have like the gold in it. These are the jars that we got need to clean them out. Now it does also come with the labels too. I'm not gonna put it like all the way in there cause I don't wanna mess it up, but worth the coin. We'll have to, you know, put it in there and get some use out of it for sure. I just hope these last. My issue is when I have these type of jars, I will stick it in here like this and I don't know if it's the way that I'm pulling it up if I'm once I need to refill. I end up breaking this part. So I just hope that is not the case. So I ended up getting this right here, the oils to sit in, but I don't know now that I'm looking at it if it's going to fit. Oh, it does. Okay, perfect. So yeah. So I wanted to have it like sitting like this on the counter. I love this. Okay, it actually worked out perfectly. Okay, we are starting off really, really good, you All guys. Right. So I ended up finding a cute cup, which I for tea, for coffee. I feel like it's something that I possibly wouldn't grab for every day, but if I was just feeling, you know, sporadic or something, I just want, I think it's a cute tea cup or, you know, coffee, whatever. But to me, it's more of a tea because it's so small. Oh, so I ended up getting this. I know what I wanted to do with this, honestly, though. I may end up sitting it like in a coffee corner or maybe like where the dishes are. I mean, the you know, the sink is for right now. But I thought this was really, really cute. I love this because it's give like the modern feel. 
I'm just getting my green drink on it just to kind of see. But I also ended up getting some some spoons for like coffee and tea. I ended up finding these really, really cute golden spoons. They're kind of, you know, flimsy. You can bend them a little. I think they are going to be a really great addition. So I ended up getting this. I think I have it right, but I'm not really sure. If I got this for like my bracelets, my watches. Just here, these little pieces at the end, they come in. So if you push it enough, it will slide in. Looks better to me. Okay, there we go. So yeah, but I wanted to show you guys this right here. It's cute, it's something easy to clean. Um, and I do think this is a great option because I wanted to add, have something. Oh, one of my cups is like messed up though. I thought this was really, really cute. Originally my idea was to put, you know, like sugar, tea for the coffee. Um, I thought this was just so cute to sit on the countertop. So I'm just mad that one of them are messed up. So the next item is going to be this ceramic vase that I got. Now these are actually ceramic. I'm so excited, you guys, to show you. Ain't these so cute? I'm trying to be careful with grabbing them. Because y'all know when ceramic is not, um, you know, like there's no shine or anything like that. I just feel like it stains, it scratches, anything attaches to it. Um, it comes in a set of three. So this is the smallest one. This is the one right here. And then I have the big one. This is gonna be so cute. Um, this is these jars right here. I am super obsessed with these like storage type containers. I pray that these are glass and not plastic. They're glass. I'm excited, okay. These definitely were worth it. I'm gonna show you guys what these look like. I just love these type of jars. Like I've seen them so much and i was like yeah i want these like it's just something different something very very cute so you literally can put like your coffee um k-pods in those uh, definitely worth the coins i've seen people put coffee beans in theirs um just different things so uh, honestly you it's basically up to you and what you want you know to have in here so i wanted to show you guys this jewelry piece right here but i thought this was cute for especially if, if you are like a person who maybe sells jewelry or you just want to highlight like a particular piece of jewelry i thought this was so cute not necessarily a necessity but i do think this is just cute to kind of add you know within your jewelry if you want to just have like one of your favorite earrings highlighted. So let's go ahead and move into some of the beauty products that I picked up from Team. So I ended up getting a bundle of these lip pods or the lip mask. Not, but that is what it looks like. Moisturizing, I will say though. Maybe she was ashy. Y'all excuse my ashy hands because it definitely adds like that moisture on it. And it could. It's thick, but it's movable. It doesn't have much of a smell yeah i ended up getting three of these so three came inside of the bundle so i was like not not a bad deal at all especially since i typically use those at nighttime when i'm asleep or when i wake up i'm doing my routine i just want a little bit of moisture on my lips i feel like that's perfect for that time so let me show you guys the blush that i got i don't know what this is called it's a number four but i love cream and liquid blushes you guys so I will say it does definitely looks like there's not a lot of product in the tube, uh, but that is the color that I received. I'm going to rub it in to see like the color payoff, which not bad. Not bad at all. Typically with my cream and liquids, I apply that first just to get some color and then I apply a powder blush on top of it as well anyways but not bad like even on my skin shade it's it comes up i'm able to see it to me that's the most important um and it's hard to find liquid and cream blushes that you know are visible on my shade not bad i ended up also getting some lip oils as well i told you guys i'd be obsessed with a lip oils um, and i ended up getting me two more okay now of course this is going to be like the dior do I actually got both of the ones that I really, really like from them. So, y'all remember I was talking about the lip oils prior. Y'all, these lip oils are bomb. These are the ones that I, this is the one I actually use all the time. Like, in, anytime I'm doing, like, my, you know, skincare routine or whatnot, I am going for this one. This one is obviously, it comes on clear, but this one gives me, like, a tint of, of just, just a little tint, which I really like. I want to say this came in a two-pack. Like, it was a bundle. So, it's definitely giving the Dior lip oil dupe 
and I don't personally have the Dior look, the Dior glosses, but I do, and I have, you know, walked with Sephora, seen them, swatched them as well. So, yeah, they're very close, very close. I also ended up picking up a few eyeshadows I want to show you guys. First one, which I thought this one was really, really pretty, definitely spring appropriate. These are like really pigmented. Those are the only ones that really caught my eye. But I was like, ooh, you know, like something, a really nice tutorial to do. So I got this one. This is called, well, these are, hold on. I want to say these are all Camellia eyeshadows. So yeah, these are all Camellia eyeshadows. This one is shade number five, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous green. Do y'all see that? Like, it, oh, hold on. Of course, and I put my nail in it. I tell you, boy. I tell you. Oh, this is pretty. Let me swatch it. Oh, that's pretty. This is so pretty. And it's so smooth. It just glides on. Of course, this color actually looks like it matches what I have on, but it's chameleon. So it's giving me a red, but it's also giving me like a gold bronze when I like shift in the light. Like, it's so weird. Y'all see that? Like, look, bronze, red, bronze, red, bronze. That is so weird, but I guess that's why they call it chameleon. See? You see it? Now you don't. You see it? Now you see a different color. Wow, okay. Oh, this is pretty. Like, that is so... And see, I still see, like, that orange bronze, but I also see, like, that red pink color. I guess it's more like a maroon, if I had to say. Let's swatch that. That is so pretty. Like, and the colors are very, very smooth. Like, super smooth and pigmented. I, did, I really didn't expect much from these. Can I get into this one? Okay. This one looks like this. Now, I don't know what color this is because there's no color on it. But they all were under the same, um, same vendor and same, uh, ooh. That is so pretty. You can see like blues, greens, and I'm gonna swatch it right here. Oh yeah, y'all see that? Like, that is so pretty. Oh my god, yeah, I'm I'm very shocked. Like, can't wait to play around in, in those. I don't know what type of look I'm gonna do because these colors are very, very vibrant. I wanted to show you guys this right here. I ended up getting this bronze. That's pretty. I thought this was a bronzing palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. I ended up picking up this right here because I did want to, you know, do a few tutorials for you guys using some of the Timu products. I always say like the true test of a product is really when you swatch it. I ended up getting two colors. It is a little like flaky, like, you know, like there's some flakes. I'm going to just use like swatch it. Okay. I feel like with the first time that you use these, you will get like fallout, but it is pigmented. So I just like swatched the darker one just to see. I didn't know if it was going to give me anything because it's a matte color, but it is. It's definitely giving me like MAC brown script <laughs> for sure. I forgot the name of it. It used to be one of my favorite pigments back in the day. Decent palette. So I feel like for me personally, I probably would get more use out of like the shimmery colors. I don't know about this one right here. But the rest of them, yeah, it's definitely pigmented. Like, for sure, pigmented. So, of course, you got the golds, the neutrals, the chocolates, the reddish browns. So, I feel like this is a really nice palette to kind of play around with. So, I ended up picking up some more beauty blenders. And I just felt like, why not? I thought these were so cute, though, because it came in this jar, first of all. Like, and they cute. Obviously, I won't be able to slide. I probably can fit one more in here. So the next thing that I ended up picking up was this right here. This it caught my eye because I want to say this is two-sided. So this reminds me of the Makeup Forever palette. Um, and so I thought this was a great dupe. Now, I don't know about the color, so I'm going to swatch them. This is a cream concealer blush and lip palette. Okay, I'm not getting at them. Hold on. Let me use this because it's so hard for me to... So I just put this shade right here on me. And I put the darker shade 
on my hand. I'm just going to take one of these shades right here to use a lighter shade for my concealer. So I'm gonna just dab into this and I'm gonna dab into these. I don't know how I feel about it under my eyes, but I definitely feel like this would be a great contour palette. So yeah, those are the colors. I'm gonna add just a, like the red and the orange. I just wanna see how pigmented, pigmented those are for like the blush and the lip. Actually, let's, you know, I like a pink. Like I'm trying to not like bring the color over into the next. So I'm trying to keep it clean. So this is, it's saying like, it's like an orange, but it's definitely giving me more of a peach on my complexion. Let's go into this red. Now the red is definitely showing out. Hopefully you guys can see, that's what they look like. So yeah, so this is a concealer blush cream palette. So you can use that for concealer, blush, contouring, your lips as well, which I feel like is great, especially if you are just not getting into makeup. Um, or if you're a makeup artist, I have to play around with this, but based off of my swatches, it's definitely giving a really nice pigmentation as far as like the darker shades, which I knew. My only issue is, is like the lighter shades, the concealers. I don't feel like those are women of color friendly, but I would have to play around with it underneath the eyes just to kind of see and test it out. I personally feel like these concealers for like someone who is my complexion are a little bit too orange. Like it's it's too orange, like a peachy orange, and I don't I don't care for that. So that favorite. was all of the products that I picked out from Timu. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Definitely let me know if you did or what kind of caught your eye. I try to give you a lot of beauty products for those who want to be a baddie on a budget. I will leave everything that I showed you guys down below as well as the links directly to the products. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not. It's completely free, and I will check you guys in my next video. Later.